Hello world. Yeah, it's me again. Oh, I had a little bit of a hassle here. I um, I normally go on air at exactly 1 p.m. And uh, when I filled in the uh, live stream uh, information, for some reason I couldn't go live. So I had to delete it and start again. Oh, well, such a lie. Um, what sign is it? Anyhow, drum roll. Local weather. Uh, it's 27 degrees C at um, it's 85% humidity. It, it, it's a little uncomfortable. It's probably about 31, 32 degrees in my shed office. And uh, it's uh, a little overcast, at, uh, although the cloud's burning off pretty fast and it's starting to warm up pretty fast as well. Uh, just wait till I get rid of this little monocle here. Uh, where is the damn thing? Uh, there we go. That's better. Or maybe it's not. And uh, tropical cyclone... Uh, Nathan, which had headed offshore, is heading back to the uh, far north coast of Queensland. Uh, it's only a tropical two at the moment, but let's just say it doesn't turn anything more ferocious. Um, and we don't have a, a repeat performance of those, um, what happened in Vanuatu only recently. Now, in the local news, there was um, the talk about that the, uh, I've got my notes here, so if I keep looking at it, I'm just uh, referring to my notes. Uh, health funds are considering raising um, the cost to members who are smokers. Well, maybe that's right and maybe it's wrong. But um, if you're considering raising your fees for of your members because they, they smoke, then maybe you should raise the fees for those folk who drink. And what about those folk who in, engage in um, in sporting activities or extreme sports, you know, like skydiving and uh, uh, what's it called, base jumping. And, uh, you know, like people who play um, uh, rugby league, rugby union, soccer, AFL, those involved in boxing and martial arts. I mean, the, the, the list goes on. So if you're going to consider for, for one, surely you must have to consider for others as well. But you see, the trouble in this, in this country is that smokers today are looked upon as being pariahs and a pox on society. Now, that's just plain discrimination. I mean, uh, that's their choice. People make the choice to smoke their decision as people make the decision to, to drink, to, um, to eat junk food, um, even though they know that it's bad for their health. And today in Australia, as I think it is in, in many Western countries, um, obesity is running rife, and along with it, 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 gross obesity as well. So perhaps they should consider that as well, these health funds, that if you're obese, and um, that they should raise the funds for those as well, the fees for those members as well. I mean, you, you really can't just single out one particular group of people. Although, as I said, that happens in this country all the time. You know, it's like it was with the uh, with, with the firearm owners. But I'm not going to dwell on that. But although on March 28, that's another 10 days, uh, we have to go to the polls because there's a state election here in New South Wales. And, of course, as a result, the TV channels are rife with uh, commercials for the different parties uh, trying to cons Mince people to vote for me, vote for me, vote for me. Well, as a hunter and a shooter and a fisherman for the past, as well, I turn this television off, it's a little bit distracting. Um, for the past 50 years, there's only one party I vote for, and that's the Hunter and Fishers Party. Because we need a voice or two in Parliament. And we have been thankful in the past for those voices. Because State and federal governments, you know, they're a, seek, they're a sneaky bunch of brigands. They really are. Um, they will pass, I've heard that as much as 900 different uh, new laws and, and regulations are passed without the knowledge of the public. Every year. It's like th the rising cost. You're never notified, perhaps, that your shooter's license is going to go up or your driver's license or... Um, such things as that, until you get the renewal notice, and you and you, and you think, well, why the hell didn't they let people know? But that's what the government's like, isn't it? Yeah, government. I, I don't trust any of them. I, I think they're all a bunch of bastards. They're, they're a bunch of liars. 
they're a bunch of hypocrites. And uh, I think it's high time in this country that uh, we start to get rid of uh, governments. I'm not talking about state and federal, I'm talking about local governments. I mean, every state uh, has a plethora of local governments. Like here in Coffs Harbour, we got the, the Coffs Harbour. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <clears throat> we have the Coffs Harbour City Council. That's local government. And all the towns and cities have their own um, local government. They're city councils. I mean, there's just too many of them. Do we really need them? How about some of them amalgamate? Oh, well, there's been talk about doing that, but it's never going to happen. It's like the uh, bypass um, of the Pacific Highway uh, through Coffs Harbour. Um, now, this has been going on for more than 20 years. The plans have been drawn. Well, there are several of them, in fact. Uh, I'm not even sure if land has been purchased for the bypass of Coffs Harbour. Although they are going on about on the news that um, hundreds of millions of dollars are available. But that's just... Uh, that's just a mere bag of tell, because in order to build a bypass um, just west of Coffs Harbour, that's going to cost billions. You see, this is how they they always uh, stretch the truth. They damn well know that it's going to cost billions, yet they'll cite things that uh, cost like $600, uh, $600 million. Well, we all know that it's going to cost two or three times more than that to, to build this bypass. Look, I'm not holding my breath for this to happen. We certainly need it here in Coffs Harbour, because there's something like a dozen set of traffic lights uh, as you come through Coffs Harbour. And it's just, uh, it, it's just, sometimes it's just gridlock. I mean, it, it, it's, it's shocking on the, uh, that a uh, highway should go through a major city. But it happens everywhere. And the, and the government's always crying poor, the federal government's always crying poor and saying, that, oh no, we haven't got the money for this, that and the other. But then they turn around and uh, give uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, not billions of dollars to overseas countries. Now, I certainly understand as far as Vanuatu goes, uh, you know, Australia, um, Australian have, have always been very generous. The Australian population, they'll always dig deep and they'll help out these people. And the government, rightfully so, will allocate their hundreds of millions of dollars or whatever and send uh, personnel overseas to help. And that's only fair and just. But uh, anyhow, um, now what, what else are we going to go on about today? Um, see, I make these notes. And I think that I, um, I'll be able to just talk without uh, having these um, regular silent interludes, you know, where the, where the mind just goes blank. But then again, it, it does help a bit, I suppose. Anyhow, what I was going to say too is that um, I just checked um, my YouTube channel. I do that every day just to see how, how my views are going. You know, I've only got 32 subscribers and, uh, but, uh, and something like, I don't know, 8,000... What is it? 8,161 views for 151 video uploads. I mean, it's a nothing, really. But I'm happy with that. You know, in consideration, when you, when you compare my 32 subscribers with some of these uh, these enormous YouTube channel owners who have got tens of millions, uh, I, and I know you just can't judge it by subscriber base, but considering that's all I have, that's what I judge on now. With my 32 subscribers, I, I average about 40 views per upload. So, more than my 32 subscribers, or, or let me say, let me, no, 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 that's not right. Um, I average 40 video uploads and my 32 subscribers, which means that I'm getting more than 100% views as my subscriber base. But you look at some of these who say, um, got 30 million subscribers, they upload a video and might get five or six million views, um, which is only, say, uh, 20% of their subscriber base. So I can take heart in that, you know, saying, well, I'm not doing too bad, really, even though I'm a very tiny, tiny fry in the, in the big YouTube pond, I think I'm doing okay. In fact, one of my videos, I uploaded it six months ago, a Crutching Sheep in an Aussie Shearing Shed. That has amassed over a 1,000 views. In fact, uh, when I checked today, has amassed um, 1,024 views. Finally, I got one video upload that has exceeded a thousand views. I'm ecstatic with that. I really am. You know, give myself a big pat on the back and then give myself a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, another one of my um, uploads uh, showing and firing my Jakarto Model 35 air rifle 
uh, has, um, let me see, let me see, let me check my view, has got uh, 939 views. So it won't be long before it hits 1,000 views. And that makes me a very happy man. It does. But like I said, um, oh, and there's another one that I only uploaded a month ago, and I'm very happy with the progress of it. Um, where is it? Emphysema Man. Now, this is a short film I made about me because I said before I've got emphysema and uh, I called emphysema man a true story my story and it goes for eight minutes and ten seconds I think it is well it's amassed 910 views and yeah, that's pretty cool huh 910 views but the funny thing is most of my longer videos those that go for say an average four minutes get more views than my, my short uploads. And all my short uploads are usually comical. Yeah, I, as I said before, I, I like to make people laugh, or, or at least try to make people laugh. But uh, isn't that weird? My longest videos are the biggest uh, uh, have accumulated the more views. So maybe I need to concentrate more on making um, longer videos than going on with these, uh, th these very short ones. You know, some can be less than 30 seconds. And... Uh, because you know, I, I can I can do the routine in, in thirty seconds or less. Some might go for a minute, but uh, I just don't understand it. You know, it's, I just don't understand why uh, those videos, which are really hilarious, haven't got more views. It seems to me that maybe people haven't got any sense of humour. I know that's not true. I know it's not true. Um, now, now, what else was I going to say? Um, there's also in the <clears throat> excuse me again I, I i've got a sore throat again uh, what can i say uh, just a minute i'll just have a sip of tea if i've got any left in the mug oh god nothing but tea leaves in the door is away i'll have to have a drink of water instead excuse me oh. now it's also been in the news that uh, an archbishop here in the in the catholic church has been uh, accused of keeping secrets of child abuse, sex abuse within the church, we all know it goes along. You know, we we all know that it goes it goes on, no doubt about it. And he's denying that uh, he uh, kept out um, those priests who were guilty of child abuse that he knew about. But he's lying through his teeth. You know what I mean? And he and asked Bishop. Yeah, you know, there's no doubt he knew what was going on. Yeah, all in the church, in, in whatever church group it is knows what's going on within the within their uh, within their circles they can't help but know and for all i know they might have be part of it themselves the sick bastards you know i i've, I've got no um um uh, i can't think of the word you know um uh, I don't know. Oh, God, what can i say see Oh, well, now, um, what else I got here in the notes? Yes, um, look, back to my YouTube channel, because that's something I know about, and I've got to, you know, that I'm passionate about, you know, um, and these live stream events. Oh, that's, that's something I wanted to tell you. I was very, very pleased to see that if anyone types in uh, YouTube live stream and the Google page comes up, I, me, me, I'm on the first page, the first Google page. Me, you just got to scroll down a little bit and there I am. I don't know how it ended up there. Maybe uh, YouTube and Google liked what they what they saw. I don't think so, but there I am. Because I said how much fun and how a terrific thing YouTube live streams are, just like Google Hangouts are. They are terrific things. I love them. I love being able to get on here and go live. Now, um, hang on a sec. Maybe I haven't done something right here. Uh, it says present to everyone. Okay, I'll put it up there and present to everyone. But like I said yesterday, surely I'm presenting to everyone now as it is. So why would I be need to click that present to everyone? Anyhow, uh, yeah, I mean I can highly recommend anyone, anyone who's got a YouTube channel and a Google Plus account, to um to get it to do a live stream. I mean if you're a, if you're a small business, 
it could be very beneficial for you. And if it's not, I tell you what, you'll have a lot of fun. I would recommend it to anyone and everyone to do a live live stream. I mean, if for no other reason, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Believe me, you'll have a ball. And I guarantee too, you'll probably end up being tongue-tied like I am and, and, and all the time. Now, even if you make notes, you, you'll probably diverse with, with what you're saying and then you lose your train of thought like I do all the time. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it's having a go at things. You know, I've had a, I've tried many things in my life. You know, I'm 67 now and I've, for the past 50 years, I've tried a whole plethora of things. And uh, like businesses, small business endeavors to try and make things better for myself and my family. Oh, I failed miserably. I always got up and I dusted myself off and I kept trying and I kept failing, but I kept trying, I kept failing. Um, I must admit today though, um, I don't, uh, I don't write much anymore. I once had a, a passion for writing and, and I wrote five novels and I, um, I've got two works in progress and a couple of short stories, but I haven't added a word to any of those for at least six months. I just don't have the passion for writing anymore. And there's no doubt whatsoever that has to do with my failure to sell my first self-published novel, Aggravation. You know, I went all out with that because I was so positive. But I think this is true of all writers or, or, or artists um, of any kind. Um, you, you think you're the bee's knees. You think you've, you know, as far as a writer goes, you've written a damn good story and it's going to be a success. And, and I, I convinced myself of that. I still think it's a damn good story, Aggravation. But, um, so I went the whole log mainly because I could, because I had the money to do so. And uh, if I hadn't done it, I would have always been thinking, well, I, I wonder what if, if only I had gone ahead. But I, I did go ahead and it cost me nearly $30,000. There were 22,000 for 2,500 copies, soft covers, copies of my of the book. And then there was the website, and there was uh, packaging and merchandise and uh, registrations and so on and so forth. And it all added up to close to $30,000. And I've still got most of those books sitting here in my shed. Very disheartening. Uh, sometimes it's quite depressing. But nothing ventured, nothing gained is my, uh, my motto. You've got to try things. I mean, I just wish that, some, that YouTube and Google had been around when I was in my late teens. Oh, God. I, I, I just... My mind just runs right for the, what, the ideas of what would have happened if that had been the case, you know. But but of course it wasn't. It was the, you know YouTube and Google and the internet. They're only about what 15 years old, if that. But uh, it's terrific. Yeah. The internet, absolutely wonderful thing. Yeah, you got a place like Wikipedia when you can get on there and you can find out anything you want to know at the click of a button or a click of a mouse or whatever. It, um, and YouTube, you know, I love YouTube. Absolutely love YouTube, and uh, yeah, I would urge anyone and everyone again to start their own YouTube channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do it, but a little time. And, um, and then, once you're on with YouTube and you get on the Google Plus, you can do these live stream events, and you can also do a hangout from Google Plus on the main page. When I click the main page here, a little thing pops up down the on the on the right hand side down the bottom and says. Uh, Hangout. You just you just touch that and it goes up and you can just click Hangout and you're, and you're on. Just like that. Although, I tell you what, if someone happens to be watching this video who is very familiar with these uh, Google Hangouts, I would like them to tell me what this, um, this uh, where is it? Here it is here. Screen share. Now, every time I click this, uh, what do I have here? If I click this and share this, this is what comes up. This is my, uh, oh, this is my back of my YouTube page. Now, I don't know if you can do it. Well, you can't do anything with it. You know, you can't scroll it. You can't do anything. And if I were to click another one, um, here's another one here. It's got Google Plus Hangouts. You click that and you share. And all I get are all these little screens. And they just go on and on and on. You know, there's they, a, a score of them or more. Oh, there you go. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm
And I just don't understand what you can do with it. You know, I've got on to Google and I've typed in um, how to use Google Hangout uh, for dummies, you know, which I am. I must admit, I'm a dummy when it comes to most things IT, all this uh, whiz bang technology. But all this old stuff, you know, it goes back uh, two or three years and things have changed in the last few months. I can't find a uh, most recent post, there's just none there. And I can't understand what these, uh, what these damn um, share your screen, Google Plus Hangouts are all about. I just don't know what the hell they're about. So please, if there's anyone out there, tell me. Please tell me what they're all about. No, no I'm, I'm dry again. I'm just going to have another sip of water. Excuse me. Ugh. Well, anyhow, it's, it's 24 past uh, one. The um, There's a bit of extra cloud drifting in, and the humidity has gone well. I'm, I'm sweating quite profusely here. Uh, he says wiping the uh, sweat away. Um, but, but you know what? There is a, um, Social media is a great thing. You know, I, I like social media, although I'm really having second thoughts about Facebook. I share all my YouTube uploads on Facebook. And I said this before, and I'm going to say it again. I rarely get a view. I rarely get a like or a thumbs up, as is on Facebook. And it's the same on Google+. Plus. Oh, sure. That, and in fact, it's the same on, my, uh, on YouTube as a whole. These live streams barely get any views at all. But it's early days, and I remain optimistic. I'm not greatly optimistic that things are going to get better but as you said if you don't try you don't get and what have you got to lose nothing but a bit of time so i don't know what you know if you folk want to do one of these live streams or you want to do a whole host of them go for it until you have the time of your life even if you sit here talking to yourself like i am you'll have the time of your life now here i go present to everyone i don't know what difference that's going to make <sighs> i wonder what it does mean who else am I presenting it to? See, I've got to scratch my head. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. I stop. Stop presenting. It says stop presenting. But I haven't stopped the broadcast. See, this is what I mean. I just can't find out this information on, on the internet. I just can't. But come on, someone, please. Um, if, if you've got a, a YouTube upload that explains all the ins and outs of these... Uh, uh, Google Hangouts and YouTube live stream, especially this thing to do with uh, screen share. I'd really like to know. It, it seems to me that perhaps you're able to um, share a screen. Uh, perhaps you got organized before you go on like the Facebook page or your YouTube ch page, channel or whatever. Uh, Google Plus page. I don't know. But I would really like to know. Anyhow, I really can't think of anything else to say. And I'm not going to sit here wasting your time and my time. Um, hoping that something will pop into my mind, because it probably won't. So, oh, I still haven't received my um, my chronograph, my chronic chronograph. It was supposed to arrive yesterday, the seventeenth, and I checked the um, uh, the email I got that said you can track your parcel. It didn't tell me anything really. What's the point in it? it didn't tell me anything at all. I thought it might have said, oh, it's here, there. And going where uh, everywhere, uh, or it's in Australia and it, it and it's on route. It didn't say anything like that at all. So what's the point of it? Uh, maybe it'll come today. Uh, who knows? Or maybe it won't come at all. Well, if that's the case, the place I've ordered, I've got to watch out because they'll get some feedback they won't appreciate. And of course, um, uh, eBay will refund my money. There's no problem with eBay. E e eBay's great. No problem at all with eBay. So it's not eBay's fault. It's these companies. You know, some of these companies are a bit iffy. I don't think this one is. I did deal with one in the past, only recently. And uh, fortunately, the uh, the product I bought wasn't very expensive. I had my doubts about it in the first place, but I thought, why not? I'll get the damn thing. But um, it didn't work. And uh, even though I got in contact with this uh, company by email, um, and they did send me... Uh, an adjunct to it and that didn't work either and then uh the, the, look, i'm not going to go into it i'm not going to go into it uh just needless to say it was just one of those things where it, it was money wasted but 
like I said, it was only $15. So I'm not too worried about it. I don't think this is going to happen this time where I bought the chronograph from. Uh, I just think there's a hold up with the shipping and that's it. Anyhow, so my friends, to any of you who are watching, I will say thank you for watching. Um, yeah, maybe we can fi finish off with a. <laughs> Don't you like that? <laughs> and uh, until next time, which will be tomorrow, and uh, I will say bye for now. <laughs>